believe it or not, the daily and often heavy southeastern rains haven't affected the quality of crops at the Sunbelt Ag Expo's 600 acres of on-farm demonstrations. That's right. Recently, Rick Trepto spent the day at the Expo and has a preview on what's being grown and the technology visitors will see at the annual event coming up in October. The immediate threat of even more rain didn't stop 400 visitors from attending the annual field day at Spence Field in Moultrie. The day started with a free biscuit breakfast sponsored by the Georgia Department of Agriculture and the state's largest farm organization, the Georgia Farm Bureau. Farm Bureau's first vice president, Gerald Long, said it was part of the organization's responsibility. But also as we represent all of agriculture, it's, uh, it gives us an opportunity to uh, tell our story, uh, what we represent, the agriculture in Georgia, uh, the importance of agriculture, and working with the Georgia Department of Agriculture, uh, forming a partnership with them several years ago, I think it's very important that we sponsor this, this field day as it is one of the largest farm shows in, in the nation. The tramp show for the folks to 30 stops. The farm's crops had six and a half inches of rain the 11 days before the show. As you can see, all the fields were water soaked, but no real damage so far. And those of us who covered the event all got stuck, but we lived to tell about it. Expo farm manager Michael Chapin says fungicides are being used more to protect their commodities. But now we're, we're using fungicides on cotton to combat uh, leaf spots and we're using a lot of fungicides on corn uh, to combat those leaf blights and those uh, diseases that are, that are getting brought in here on, on these uh, tropical systems and, and on these fronts that come through. We got great square retention, uh, fruit retention, very few missing spots. The well-known University of Georgia Extension entomologist could not have been happier about what he saw, but throughout the state, Philip Roberts says all corn farmers have seen high populations of stink bugs. The fact that there were high populations in corn, most likely we're going to see high populations in cotton. We're going to see high populations in soybeans. So stink bug scouting, stink bug management is, is really going to be a priority in all of our row crops this year. We've got new technologies coming. Uh, cotton with resistance or tolerance to topical applications of 2,4-D, which is amazing. And Stanley Culpepper says there is another cotton variety allowing over-the-top application of dicamba that stops weeds. But both are being held up by USDA environmental impact studies. We just hope that they will move around, along very rapidly with the study. We don't want them to delay anything because we need the technology. Hand weeding, conservation tillage, and cover crops are major tools to avoid chemical applications. Culpepper says this is a unique demonstration for controlling Palmer amaranth. First, rye is grown as a cover crop. And just before planting the cotton, we'll roll it. In my preference, I would like to have at least seven foot tall rye, but 10 foot tall is fine. We don't want three or four foot tall rye. And the reason we need the large amount of biomass is we're using that rye to block the sunlight. If we block the sunlight from getting to the ground, the Palmer amaranth actually won't germinate. The agricultural economy is still strong, and the large crowds the expo attracts continues to draw exhibitors. I think it's a testimony of the strength in the ag economy. It's a testimony to the fact that these exhibitors know if they come to expo, we're going to give them a high return on their investment. Sunbelt's Georgia representative for the Swisher International and Sunbelt Expo Farmer of the Year Award was announced. Will Harris, who has built white oak pastures in Clay County into the largest organic farm in Georgia, will represent the state. So be sure to put the dates on your calendar now. The Sunbelt Ag Expo, October 15th, 16th, and 17th in Moultrie. I'm Rick Trepto for the Georgia Farm Monitor.